Forget the king of the beasts. It's the queen that comes in at number five on our countdown of killer cats. Lady lion is the top predator on the African plains. Lions live in groups called prides that can number up to 20 animals. It's a collective where they share the work. The female lions are the ones who do the hunting, and they can choose from a menu of 20 different animals, which includes hefty buffalo, zebra, and wildebeest. Rather than help out, the males of the pride stay home more than 95% of the time. It seems their fabulous mane isn't much help in the sneak attack that lions use to hunt. So, like all good kings, the male lion spends his time sitting around and looking regal while the others do all the work. Lions only succeed about a quarter of the time. And when the lionesses come home tired and grumpy from a hard day of hunting to find his highness sitting proudly, you know what happens next. Luckily, there's a place that specializes in taking care of battered lions and 22 other types of wild cat. Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida, is home to the big cats that no one else wants, according to manager Scott Lope. Big Cat Rescue is an animal sanctuary, and we're dedicated primarily to exotic cats. We have about 170 cats, um, and they range from the, the tiny Joffrey cats from South America the whole way up to the lions and tigers, which are the largest of the cats. Ready? Go up. This sanctuary isn't a zoo. It's the final destination for animals that have suffered irresponsible pet ownership at its worst. Hi, Gracie. Hey, little girl. We're not like a zoo because we didn't actively go out and collect these animals. All the animals at Big Cat Rescue are, are basically animals that needed a home, um, whether they were a police confiscation, an unwanted pet, um, a retired performing animal. These were all animals that nobody wanted. How's my little girl? Hi, Katrina, love. Hi, big girl. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, what a silly girl. Scott's 170 wild cats need a lot of attention. Housing and feeding them is just a small part of giving them the best life possible under the circumstances. So how do you improve the life of a wild animal that's confined in an enclosure? You give it a box to play with. They would spend so many hours a day hunting in the wild that this gives them a little something to hunt, something to tear up. Enrichment is Scott's technique for making sure that his cats have something to look forward to each day. All of Scott's cats are treated to enrichment, and it's tailored for each cat's lifestyle. Leopards love trees. It takes the focus off a little bit of everything being food-driven. Um, his reward is just as much that he gets to play with that enrichment. It's just more of an activity for his mind. It may seem a poor substitute for an animal that's supposed to be roaming the plains of Africa, but Big Cat Rescue is as good as it gets if you're an unwanted leopard. They enjoy the enrichment because it gives them something to do. These animals were not meant to be in enclosures. It makes their territory more valuable to them. It has, has fun stuff. It has activities there. Um, and it, it gives him a better day. It gives him a better life in captivity. Every year, Scott has to turn away more than 300 animals. Each began life as a wild and exotic cat and ended it as a pet that nobody wanted. If I could give advice to someone who, who really wanted to get an, an exotic cat or a wild animal as a pet, I, I, I would say just, if you care at all about the animal, don't do it. 
Um, it's a miserable life for this animal. Lionesses in Africa have to look out for lazy males and lots of kittens, but their lot in life is a whole lot better out in the wild. Our next cat contender finds the wild right in our own backyards.